Hello everyone, this is Shalim Singh and welcome to my YouTube channel and I am very thankful to all my students and other people who have been supporting me and sharing my videos and liking my videos and I hope in future also will continuously support me like this only and uh, I request you that who is not still yet subscribed to my channel please subscribe my channel so as I will upload more videos on my channel so you will get a proper notification of that that my new video has been uploaded right now today I have taken a chapter that is chemical bonding from class 10 and I have taken the first topic that is introduction about chemical bond right introduction about chemical bonding under that I have taken the heading that is stability of an atom stability of an atom so suppose there are many things in our universe or in our surrounding which are stable which are stable as we know that which are stable right planets in the universe are what stable right so suppose think that suppose if those things will not be stable that what will happen the thing will happen is that the destruction will occur the chaos will occur all the things will be what mismanaged no things will be what get linked or no things will be what becomes stable so a complete confusion will occur in whatever the processes that are taking place but a thing which is being there or everything which is being there in our universe or in our uh, surrounding it's stable so in the same way as we talk about the atoms also as we talk about what atoms also atoms also requires what stability atoms also requires what stability getting my point now the thing is that that we have 118 elements in the periodic table right in the modern periodic table we have got 118 elements out of that only group 18 elements that are referred to as what the noble gases or the inert gases out of 118 elements only the elements which are being there in the group 18 okay are considered to be stable are considered to be stable not all the elements not all the 118 elements out of 180 ele 118 elements only the elements which are being there in group or present or kept in group 18 they are considered to be stable now the question arises that what about the other elements which are not stable which are not stable right so the thing arises is that that the elements which are not stable or which are not having eight electrons in the valence shell eight electrons in the valence shell okay the elements which are not having eight electrons in the valence shell okay tries to acquire okay tries to acquire a stable electronic configuration tries to acquire a stable electronic configuration right getting a point so in that way what will happen that when an element which is not having eight electrons in the outer motion so it will try to acquire a electronic configuration means either it will acquire two or I sorry either it will attain to acquire two electrons in the outer motion or either eight electrons in the outer motion because group 18 elements is having two electrons in the outer motion or eight electrons in the outer motion that's why they are considered to be what stable in this helium is only having what two electrons in the outer motion of group 18 while other elements of group 18 is having eight electrons in the outer motion so whichever element tries to become stable or tries to acquire 
टू इलेक्ट्रॉन्स और एट इलेक्ट्रॉन्स इन द आउटर मोस्ट शेल सो इट ट्राइज टू बिकम स्टेबल टू इट्स नियरेस्ट नोबल गैस मीन्स विच वट विच एवर एलिमेंट ट्राई टू बिकम स्टेबल सो इट विल बिकम स्टेबल इन सच अ मैनर दैट इट विल ट्राई टू वॉट बिकम स्टेबल टू इट्स नियरेस्ट नोबल गैस सपोज कंसिडर एन एग्जाम्पल सपोज Uh, there are many students, different types of students in our class. Some are very brilliant, some are average, right? So everyone has the thought. Suppose a brilliant student is there in the class. So everyone tries to what acquire a knowledge like him. Acquire a knowledge like him. He, uh, everybody tries to be uh, acquiring a knowledge as a topper student. Have in the class. So in the same way, the elements which is not having these are the group eighteen elements of the topper students. They are having two electrons and eight electrons in the outer mosh shell. It means they are stable. Others are not stable. So other elements which which tries to acquire stability, it try to acquire stability by having two electrons in the outer mosh shell or eight electrons in the outer mosh shell to attain a stability. to its nearest noble gas so it is having two rules in that if the element acquires stability by attaining two electrons in the outer mosh shell so it will follow what duplet rule it will follow what the duplet rule okay and if the element tries to acquire to have a stable electronic configuration by acquiring eight electrons in the outer mosh shell So that is referred to as the octet. That is referred to as the octet. So in this manner, an element or atom acquires what state? Duplet. That is duplet and octet. Getting my point? This much you can copy. Then move forward. Now, as you move further onto the statement of an atom. Okay. So there are three ways. By which the atoms can become stable. Getting my point? There are three ways by which the atoms can become stable. Right. First thing is that the first way is by transferring of electrons. By transferring of electrons. It means by transferring of electrons means. Suppose there are two atoms we have taken, right? And both these atoms has combined up. Both these atoms have combined up and formed a bond, right? But both have to become stable. So first method by which both these atoms can become stable is by the transfer of electrons. Means in this by the transfer of electrons in this one atom will. Lose electron. One atom will lose electron, and the other atom will gain. I think transferring means out of these two atoms, both will be combining up. But out of this one atom will be losing its electron, losing its electron, and other will what? Automatically will what? Gain. Electron. So in this way, the first method to gain stability by an atom is that by the transferring of electrons. So in this, suppose a atom will lose electron. What are the electrons which are being there in the outer mosh shell? Later on, we study about in these different structures. Okay. In this, a atom will lose electron and b will gain electron. Other examples we will see further. Okay. Now, second type is that. By sharing of electrons. Second is what? By sharing of electrons. Getting my point? Like what? Suppose again we have taken two atoms, and both these atoms are being combining up, right? Both these atoms are being combining up. But in this, what will happen? Both the atoms. We can consider that both the atoms. Will mutually will mutually 
share their electrons. Will mutually share the electrons means both the atoms when they will combine up in a way that this atom will also will be sharing its electron by to the other atom and the other atom will also share its electron with the a atom or to the first atom. So in this both these atoms have the participation of what? Electrons. How they have been participated? That they have equally or mutually shared their electrons among themselves to become what? Stable. This is the first way of any atoms to become stable. This is the second way of uh, of stability of atoms. Now, coming on to the third way. Coming on to the third way is that by one-sided by one-sided sharing of electrons by one-sided sharing of electrons. What does it mean is that that suppose we consider again we consider two atoms they are being combined in the so but in this in, in this method what will happen is that only one atom will share a pair of electrons a pair of electrons means out of both these atoms, atom A we have taken example and atom B we have taken example, out of this only one atom will share its electron. In this what? Both are being sharing its electron means suppose A is sharing two electrons, so B will also what? Share two electrons. But in this way, in this method by one sided sharing, in this only one atom will what? Share its electron with the other atom but in this case also both the atoms will become what stable so these are the way that how the stability of the atoms can be attained right getting then one more thing is that that why do atom requires stability why because atoms requires stability to have eight electrons or two electrons in their outermost shell. So this is the introduction about what? Chemical bonding regarding to the stability of an atom. Next time we will study about the second topic is about chemical bond and the different types of bond on to that. So I hope you have understood this video. Please continue like my videos, share my videos and it's a request that you please subscribe my channel who has not still subscribed. Thank you.